Hi guys, welcome back to Farming Simulator 19 and today we are going to be reviewing a mod. We are going, going to be reviewing a slurry tanker today and we are going to be reviewing the Kaviko Profi 11.20 it's in version 1.0 Credits are going out to STV modding. The file size for this mod here is 7.08 megabyte. And the company Kaviko, that is a Dutch company, so they are situated in Holland, I believe. And you can find the slurry tanker under the category slurry tankers. So we are gonna jump over to the shop here and have a look at it all right so we are gonna sell this guy here it's under the category slurry tankers it's here slurry tankers it's the Kaveco Profi 1120 so let's see where it is. It's back here. And uh, you need a tractor of at least 200 horsepower. That is 147 kilowatts. Now this slurry can hold slurry. 23,200 liters of slurry here are digested. You can uh, spread slurry with this at a work speed of 17 kilometers per hour. And it's a Catros Vipro Glide FLX 15. Now you can spread slurry with this. It has a work width of 15.0 meters. So let's have a look at it inside the shop here. It costs Originally, it costs here $84,200. So let's go inside. And here is the nice looking slurry tanker here. I'm going to turn it for you guys so you can... Uh, here we have the, the hose system right here. Awesome. That is the back end here. You have the lights here. You have the warning hazards here. And you have a couple of things on the back here. You have the Kaveco and the Profi 11.20 logo on here. You have the pipes here. And you have the lid that might open up by the touch of a button. I don't know yet. We're going to have to check that out. All right. Now, there are a lot of options to this. Here it says can hold 23,200 liters of slurry or digested. You need a tractor of at least 200 horsepower. It has a work width of 15 meters and a work speed of 17 kilometers per hour. Now, let's see the main color. We have red here. That is the main color here, the fenders, that part here, the pipe part here, here. This guy here, we have the main parts are here and here, and the defenders here. Now we have blue, then we have here green, we have the class color. Dark blue, yellow, that is a bit bright. We have white as well. This type of white, black, and those are the main colors. Those are the main colors right here. Defenders here, this part here, the front, coming around here, fenders. And those parts here in the back here, plus the frame. 
All right, now we have the rim color here. We have blue, then we have the green here. The, the class color that is more or less like a brown color. Purple, wouldn't recommend the purple color. The Fent color here, that is something like the class color. Those two are almost the same. Then we have white and so on. So we're gonna stick with the red here. Then we have the design color. Now the main color here costs $1,500. The rim color costs $300 and Let's see what the design cost we have here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight design color. So let's see what color changes are under design color. Red. All right. The design colors are the top part right here. Here. And the top part here, that is the design color. We have yellow. red one which looks like that which uh, almost matches the color of the rims here the design colors i don't think they cost anything no design colors don't cost anything the dark green and the light green here so we are gonna stick with this color here for now you can see the the containers here on the front with the pipes coming out here brilliant all right we have Trelleborg tires here they are on at the moment Trelleborg then we have the Michelin's here those are wider tires by the looks of it yeah they are wider then we have the Nokian tires on right here. Those are Nokians. And we are on the meters. Now the meters, they are bigger tires again than the Nokians. Meters are always big tires. They are wider and taller. And we are back to the Trelleborg. So we're going to stick with the meters. Now the different types of tires here we have the white tires on the meters and the standard the Trelleborgs we have the wider Trelleborg tires here and the standard ones for the Michelin's we have the wider tires and back the standard the Nokians. Now the Nokians, they are tires that won't damage the crops. They don't. If you drive over the crops with your field on your field here, with the Kaweco here, it doesn't damage the crops at all. So we are gonna go with the Michelin's and the wider tires of the Michelin's. Now the wider tires here, they cost $2,200 here. So we are here at the price of $88,200. And the uh, design, what does, what does that do? Okay. It changes the design color here of the, of the decal. White and standard. White and standard here. Black, white, black. We're going to go with the white because it looks a little bit better than the black although the black here matches the black design so we are gonna stay with the black here you can either rent it or you can buy it but we're gonna buy it $88,200 and we're gonna buy a tractor as well we're gonna buy we're gonna go into tractors here we have I'm gonna buy this guy here
Alright. So, let's have a look at it from the outside here. So, that is what it looks like from the outside here. You have your hazard lights here, your, your hazards here, brake lights, indication lights, brake lights. We have decals here, the hazard decals, the yellow ones here as well. Can we get a, get a bit closer? Okay, those are the decals up here, the hazard ones, or the warning decals I should say. Then we have the pipe system up here. And uh, yeah, here we have the attachment. We have the containers up here with the pipe. And we have the pipe system down here as well. That is probably our fill unit here. Just wanna check something on the back here. No, we don't have a fill unit here, so that must be our fill unit up front here. This guy here must be our fill unit. So let's jump into the tractor here and hook it up. So let's see what we can do. We can uh, turn it on. How do we turn that on? Okay, we need to fill it up with uh, slurry first before we can turn it on. But we can open it up like that. can open up the, the wheels here to extend them out a little bit. Uh, do they turn? Can you steer them? No, they don't steer. No. And you can uh, put it back in as well. No, you can't move that pipe up there. Uh, we don't have a farm, so we can't we can't uh, fill it up. But I just want to check something here real quick. Uh, No, we don't have a slurry pit to fill it up. Don't think we have that. No, don't have that. No, we don't have a slurry pit to be able to fill up the tanker, but what we can do is we can we can test the lights. We can we're gonna go here into the night time here. So, the brake lights here are working, 
pressure lights are working. Let's see if the indication lights are working. Left hand side. Let's see better that way. Left hand side. Right hand side. And the hazards. So those are working. Let's see if the mod is error free. It is error free and it's warning free as well. Yeah, error free, the mod is clean of errors. So we're gonna go back into the daytime here. And I'm going to do a test, now this is going to be a part 1 of a 2 part mod review. From what I can gather we can hook up something to the back of that. So I'm going to buy, I'm going to go back here into slurry tankers, because I think we can hook up this, the Tsuni disc here or even this guy here. I'm gonna buy the two of them. Maybe I'll buy this guy and this guy here just to test it. So, I'm gonna buy the Sony disc. I'm gonna buy the TD-12. The SD700 and this guy here, the SB4H36. Now I'm going to find out if we can hook these guys up. Yeah, we can hook up the, the Sony disc. Now that is is a cultivator that can also spread slurry. You can you can cultivate with slurry with this one here. That is the Sony disc. So we are gonna unfold it here. That is a cultivator. Sink it. We can uh, cultivate with slurry as well. Look at that, guys! Awesome. How the pipe from the Tsuni disc is going right up to this uh, Kaveco slurry tanker right here. Brilliant. And down here we have the hydraulics here to lift up the cultivator. Brilliant. All right. Lift it up. I'm gonna try and zoom in a little bit. Brilliant! That is a cultivator which you can use with the Kaveco and the slurry tanker. So let's uh, try and hook up the next one.
Yeah, we can hook up the Samsung Agro TD12. Awesome. Unfold it. And you can uh, cultivate again here with slurry. Look at the pipes here, we can uh, lift it up as well. So the next one. Yeah, we can hook up the Samsung Acro SD seven hundred. Yeah, that is lifting it up perfectly. And putting it down. And the pipe is looking nice. Alright, brilliant. That is also a cultivator which you can use with the slurry tanker here to cultivate with the slurry. So last but not least here, the last one. So you can uh, pick up the in-game uh, slurry cultivators. Let's see if we can hook up to this guy here. Yeah, we can hook up to him as well. Alright, guys, brilliant. So we are gonna unfold it and see if that will work. So unfolding it. And sink it. And we can uh, spread slurry with this guy. We have a big slurry spreader here. I mean, you can uh, you can spread it without that huge slurry spreader here. I think. You can just use it without that slurry spreader and spread your slurry this way as well. So let's just uh, hook it back on here. Put it back together. And we are done. All right. So you can hook up here
Okay, you're gonna have to drop this guy first. Drive out. Then unhook this guy. Alright, so that is it guys. That's the end of the mod review. Let me know what you guys think in comments below. What you think of the Koveco slurry tanker here. And I'm gonna do a part 2 to this. I'm gonna buy a pig farm and I'm gonna produce some slurry here. And then we're gonna try and suck the slurry out of the slurry pit here into this slurry tanker and see how that will work. So, thanks for watching guys. And uh, let me know what you think of this slurry tanker. I think it's, it looks awesome here. The colors and how it's modded. Drop by on the modder's website and give him a like and a comment and show me your love and appreciation for this mod and we'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.